What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craft Master Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials and pick up your subscription. It is 50 cents a day. Alright, so in this tutorial we are going to be going over um, how to create a, a chord progression using only one chord. So let's go ahead and just uh, grab a simple VST and a simple piano. Um, Nexus even though I hate Nexus and I don't use Nexus, um, there is, there's some, there's some plugins and there's some sounds like, <clears throat> because, you know, because I, I, I had raped Nexus for years since like 2008 on this arena ambience patch from, um, for, you know, down out of the stock, like I'm just familiar with the way that it sounds. So I, I, I can write, using this using this patch and then go and do sound design um you know with other tools so what i'm going to do here is the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to draw out one chord we're in the scale of b minor right now and um i'm going to just i'm going to draw out the the one chord in the scale and if you're not familiar with that terminology go over to studio one tutorials forwards uh backslash um music theory made simple and all of the, all this stuff is it'll be able to get you right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a rhythm here all right so so we'll have this and this is just this is just a regular triad chord in root position again if you're not understanding studio one tutorials slash music theory made simple so this is just the the regular one chord in the scale root position and if you play it like this like i could i, I you know i could like throw gross speed on that or something and make it you know and, and make a make a fire ass track whatever um but we could we can really make this um have a lot more character and the way that we're going to go about that is by doing by uh just doing some in, doing some inversions and kind of and, and kind of uh oh, and kind of changing the voicing by changing the voicing um i mean so like for example here instead of playing uh the you know the one the first third and the fifth of this what i'm going to do is i'm going to shift this down an octave and I'm going to instead of instead of using the fifth as the bass note, I'm going to use the third as the bass note. So it's going to give this first chord this sound. So now, so now we're getting like instantly a, a you know a darker and a creepier feel. So we get this epic, right? As opposed to had we just went down to the F sharp, we would have had this. I like this one better. Then for this next, for this next piece, um, instead of, you know, instead of just repeating everything over and over again, I'm just gonna take this and drop this down a full octave and see what we get now. Maybe I'll raise this up. And there you have it, you know, and then and then from here I would, you know, I'd maybe go into Omnisphere and, you know, grab one of my, you know, grab one of my, you know, more favorite, more exotic type of patches. Um, Let's see just to just to kind of show you like you know what I would do in real life right so grab this and and just make it just make it super creepy
so you see even though even though it's one chord playing over and over again it doesn't it doesn't come off as the same as the same repetitive thing over and over again but it is still the same chord same notes involved one chord in the scale so it's real easy so i mean this is the, this is a cool technique if you have a midi keyboard and you just you just going down you're just going down the keys and you have a patch open and you find a chord that you like you know and 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 you don't want to you don't want to make anything too complicated you want to keep it simple take that chord adjust the uh play out a rhythm and then adjust the voicing accordingly and you can have you know you can have a uh, a perfectly um, usable harmonic structure to base your song around so if you guys want to learn more stuff like this stop by studio one tutorials.com slash music theory made simple it is 50 cents a day keep it simple don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one